Hello, it's Sarah. And today I wanted to talk about some Tim Holtz stuff. It all started with this itty bitty midi that I made for a swap over at Mini Album, mini album Scraps. I showed that one. And then this is a little bit bigger version of it. Let me see if my light is okay. It's kind of bright. I decided to go a little bigger and I'm really happy with it. Um, I did a vertical paper bag mini album because the bags are the exact size for the big tags. And because it's Tim Holtz, I wanted to have tags, had to have tags, and have been playing with ink. My, I really scrub my hands, but they are still inky. I had ink all over me. Um, there's everything but the kitchen sink in here as far as Tim Holtz goes. I tried. I tried to do dry embossing. That's one thing. I didn't... Yes, I did heat emboss. No, I didn't. I didn't heat emboss. Um, I just got the compendium. I got the compendium 2. What is it called? A compendium of curiosities 2. And I had one. <clears throat> so I've been trying to go through those and um, dig out techniques and different stuff to use the products that I have. Um... All right, well, let me just start with this. Um, I used, I think this paper stack is Lost and Found, I believe. And I just picked like a, it's just a printer, some type of a, like a notary. I guess it's like a document looking paper. This isn't his um, measuring tape ribbon, but it's just a measuring tape ribbon that I had picked up. So I put that on there. And then this is that sticky back canvas that, um, what is it? Claudine Helmet, is it? The brand name? Yeah, well, it's Studio. Yeah, Studio. Sticky Back Canvas, and I like it. I like how it turned out. Um, I decided to use a lot of his stamps as embellishments. I really tried to. Um, I have quite a few of the die cuts, or his dies, so I tried to use those. Um, but I'll just, I'll go ahead and go through it. Um, I just stamped out the journey awakens the soul and I got this from my little one I like the idea of the journey it says the journey awakens the soul in there and then I had the alarm clock and the butterfly maybe representing the soul but um, I, I kind of did the same thing with this I just printed it out and for some reason I went with green and yellow I think this butterfly was green and yellow and then I just ended up combining it and I stuck a pin through here and put wander um, the, I think this is like the only thing that's not Tim Holtz and I actually tried to put a hole in one of his wings I have that like it's a hole puncher that's like for your bottle caps and it wouldn't go through I know he's been starting to do that though I've seen um, where he's making jewelry pieces and he has the specific kind of hole puncher that was able to cut his but I'm, I'm happy with this because this is like gunmetal and this is gunmetal and then this bling was kind of gunmetal so I think it kind of tied in <clears throat> pretty well. I put the finger up here, a spinner. I, I like Distress Stickled and I used um, <clears throat> Rub and Buff and inks. I really tried to put as much into it as I could. Oh, this was so cool because this is actually was on clearance at Michael's, $3.99. And I saw it and I was like, yeah, it looks like something. And it's, it is actually one of Tim Holtz's stamps, I'm pretty sure. It's by... Let's see. It says Janet Dunn Design Hampton Art. But I mean, I've seen him. His, he has that stamp. I don't know. Maybe she put it out for him. And then I put this on the back. These were the little um, tickets that I made for my mini. And um, I just put them. Th I, I, I really just tried to incorporate so much stuff. So let me see what, what we have. I like some of it. I really like some of it. And then I'm not crazy about some of it. So I think there's another Tim Mini in my future. Because I want to whittle it down to like exactly. I think what happened was the themes got a little mixed up. There was too much like the theme. I just put paper on all the pages before I knew what, um, how I was going to, um, embellish so I think I'd rather have that planned out a little bit better um, I made the flap on all the this is the bag the paper bag with the tag and my tags turned out really good I'm pretty happy with them some of them I had and I was playing with um, 
perfect pearl so these were kind of just like in a stack that I had so the back was done so I kind of just redid them and tried to um, use them up so this one had the Paris paper on it so I kind of went with that and used the Paris stamp set and did that um, I gotta make sure these are in the front or they don't go in yeah um, and then I put fly here which I've had this forever um, I inked it up in blue I just fussy cut this out of uh, actually I stamped it and fussy cut it out and then this turned out really cool this is one of the his um, little uh, movers and shapers the globe and then I just like colored it with um, distress that I have distress markers I forgot to mention that like on my other video but I did like I didn't color the Eiffel Tower here but on some of them I did uh, use my distress markers and then I just like distress stickled it and I put actually this is Mod Podge I didn't do glossy accents so I did that I just stamped an Eiffel Tower that I had um, I forget the brand name for that it's just a um, Hero Arts and then made a place for this little tag over here. These are, this is his, I don't even know if this is his tags. No, this is just the Sizzix uh, tags die that I had a bunch of tags already cut out. And it kind of matched. And I used the, um, what is this called? The ribbon, his crinkle ribbon. And I stained it all up with my stains. My hands were covered. So that's the first page. And on each, each top of the flap, I put an embossed paper I embossed the dry embossed the paper and put uh, with one of his embossing folders and put that on the top and then I just cut out um, one of his sayings creativity is allowing yourself to make mistakes art is knowing which ones to keep so I did that on all the pages and then this one was kind of a game theme so I, and I made an ATC to go in each of the pockets because this is the back of the paper bag this is a saying on the bingo um, dry emboss and just some more game paper and then a tag here with a little bingo this was just fussy cut and I um, made it into like a place where you could put a tag and this is just um, with the game pieces and then my tags turned out pretty good so I want to show them this is doing it with um, picket fence he like put the dauber on your stamps and you stamp with some of the things with picket fence and then you come back and stamp with black and um, I did a little um, like what is this I just used this is a, a recollections one for just for some type of um, writing and then you ink all over it and then you wipe away with the where the picket fence was and it kind of is like a you know it's like it it's kind of almost like a resist I think it is resist and then I just did the back so that one turned out cute I was I was pretty happy with the tags in this one um, I should have been because I was a mess um, then this page is again I did the um dry embossed this is like a flourish one with a saying and then I did an ATC with the car which that one turned out pretty good I was happy with that I think I'm getting the hang of like using his um, stamp sets and stamping things in different colors and then inking um, I just put that little key there and then inside I liked him so I kind of went with that theme on this too I put the little guy because I made this this is just to hold the um, tag I made that little guy and I put the uh, let me see what this tag see this is a pretty cool one and I did like again I just used the the stamp set and just kind of stamped the different elements of the stamp set in um, different colors and stuff so it it kind of and then I used um I did use a uh, perfect pearl sprays and I think I did use some perfect pearl dust too yes I did so that's that page and then this one, I like how this one turned out in the um, Itty Bitty Mini with the, um, the photograph. This is a stamp. I just made it into an ATC. And then I did my camera again, which I like how this is turning out. Like I pop up the center of it to give it a little dimension. And this one I painted with the silver. I'm going to um, go away and come right back. With the silver dauber, the metallic, silver metallic. And then I just like distress stickled it and black sooted it. So I like how they're turning out. I like the cameras. Um, I can see how I would use them again. And I don't like this paper. Like this paper was just random. Like this page is all random. Like I would redo this whole thing. But I like a lot of the ideas for it. So this and this go that. And then there's like a ship here. And people 
I mean, if it's if you're traveling, you could take pictures. Now this one, I love this. This is the on the edge dies, and I did this with a couple different ones. This one is the um, the gears. It's called I don't know steampunk, and I actually cut these out of um, my Manila folders again. I'm liking them because they're a little more sturdy, and I just inked it up with actually this is the. Um, the paints again, the paint daubers, the metallic paint daubers, and I just did them in the different color metallics, and then you can put a, a tag behind it. Like, I'm liking that, even for a bigger one, to use to, like, hold tags and stuff. I really like that idea, but this one just, it's, I don't like the colors that much. Like, I like how that looks and everything, but it's just, and I don't know. And then I did, because, of course, you have to have the bird in the cage, and it says, Capture Life's Moments, and I like that element on its own and thought it was a good idea, and, I mean, it's fine, but I don't think that I would have put it all together this way. So, and then let's see this tag. Oh, this tag turned out good. See, again, not, nothing really matches. So this is the sewing theme, the sewing um, stamp set with the... Uh, dress for him and all that and so I, I like how that tag turned out too I'm really I'm actually really happy with my tags so I'm gonna I'll play again I think I want to um, see where I can and so this is his um, postcard dry embossing like I don't know that I would have put all the dry embossing on the front part like I don't know I think I want to just try it again and rearrange now these were some ATCs that I had made before with his little ATC stamps See, like, look, this paper is some type of, I don't know, travel conductor guy, and I don't really like the paper, but, and then this paper is butterflies, so I used the, um, on the edge die with the butterflies, which I love the idea of this, and then it just, I don't know, kind of fell apart, and then I just needed something to hold, uh, this tag with, so I put that there, and then I just put this little tag behind here. This is, again, that, um, stamping with the white uh, picket fence and then you can stamp over everything and I glimmer missed it or it's not glimmer mist it's uh, perfect pearls but these ATC's I just did with um, I think I tried to do them with the bandana technique and then I used all my gel pens and glitter and stickles and all types of stuff so I figured I would just stick them in here since it's it's for me I'm just playing around and then these butterflies are like one of my favorite dyes of his the um I have a uh, it's called Movers and Shapers, the little ones. But yeah, I'm loving this idea, the on the edge dies to hold uh, tags. So that's another um, saying. And then this is the last little pocket. Again, I did this with the bandana um, technique, and I just used glossy accents and some stickles and just put that in there. And then this had buttons paper, so it's so random. Like, I just had a scrap. I think this was from the buttons paper. It's a, this is the back of the buttons paper, probably. I'm not sure. And that's the, um, I just put, um, I think it's walnut stain. And just, these. this string is actually from the little, um, from these, ta the little tags. These tags come with that string. They're the ones from Staples. So I just, like, got that inky and wrapped it around and glued a button there and then this one is because of course you love the heart now I didn't use the actual heart from it because look how much bigger I mean I probably could really because it's not eh, we'll we'll see but I, I I stickled it and put some gears on and um, just did th I like this this is one of those um, I forget what they're called but I put a love ticket on there and then it says when I want to see love to find I look at you and I punch that out of a heart and then true friendship is seen through the heart, not the eyes. So, not through the eyes, but the heart. Anyway, all right, and then that's the back. So, I like it. Boy, I'll tell you what. Oh, and then my charm. I love, love, love um, these charms. It's so cool because it's all his stuff, like his, his little whatever they're called stuff. I don't know. I put another T for Tim. And just all his pins and trinkets and baubles and key that says journey. And this is actually the chain from a swivel clasp, but I didn't like the way the swivel clasp um, stuck through the, the um, eyelet, so I just put a piece of ball chain. And actually, I was regretting putting this bling here because it just didn't really look Tim Holtzy, but then when I put this here, it, it really tied it in. Um, but I was thinking ball chain would look really good there. And these aren't his corners either, but I thought, eh, whatever, it's fine, you know. Um, 
yeah, it's for me. Um, I'm, I need to start putting pictures in these things because I want to see how they look with pictures. Um, you know, but then it covers up all the decorations that you did. So, but all right, I have a lot of Tim Holtz stuff left to work with and play with. I didn't even use all my stuff that I had prepped and made. I have tons of die cuts and, um, tags and all that stuff. So I'm going to keep playing and thanks for watching.